Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the weekly MMA Cycles Market Update. This is Gianni DePoche, your host. It's Wednesday, the day of Mercury, so it's time to uh, have a conversation about the geocosmic activity of the last several days, as well as the ones uh, coming up in the week ahead. Needless to say, stocks have started off the week on a defensive note. Let me go ahead and share my screen here. Start off by looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, a gap down to start today, trading near the session lows. Stocks are on the defensive. Now, the question here is whether the uh, new stage of this primary cycle can overtake uh, the seemingly bearish technical price action. So to start this week, interestingly, we had Venus change directions. Venus is now direct. And then Jupiter went retrograde the day after on the 4th of September. So we saw this high form on the 31st of August. This could be a, an important cycle high. We know that Venus is one of the most powerful geocosmic signatures to correspond to market reversals. Now, later this week, we have Sun trying Jupiter. So there could be a sense of buoyancy going into the weekend. Uh, that would be quite a stretch or a stark contrast to now. But keep in mind, the moon is in Gemini. So we could see a, a quick flip-flop by uh, even tomorrow on Thursday. Now, looking at next week, we do uh, see the end of Mercury retrograde. Mercury is going to go direct on the 15th of September, the same day that the sun trines Uranus. And so I think it's a good um, segue into the NASDAQ, which, you know, is down one and a half percent today. Not as uh, It's down more on a percentage basis compared to the Dow, but from a technical standpoint, doesn't look as vulnerable compared to the Dow. Now, on the 17th of September, we're going to have Venus square uh, Jupiter, and it seems like aspects between those two planets as of late uh, have led to quite a few reversals. So we need to keep uh, an eye on that across all markets. But I'm especially interested in the NASDAQ uh, going into next week. If a low, can, if a low doesn't form this week, uh, I'm looking for a reversal of some significance uh, closer to that Mercury direct Sun trine Uranus, simply because uh, Uranus rules tech. Mercury's uh, sometimes considered a lower octave of Uranus, so I think it has uh, a greater impact on this tech-heavy index uh, as it is. So I actually want to look at cannabis this week because MJ, the marijuana ETF, quite a uh, short squeeze that has unfolded over the last couple of sessions. And what's so remarkable about this price action as of late with respect to geocosmics is that this low happened uh, in a time band where we were looking for uh, a reversal in drug-related uh, sectors. So why do I say that? Well, because Saturn is in the sign of Pisces right now. And whenever Saturn goes through a sign, we look for uh, intermediate-term cycle lows to form in sectors ruled by that sign. So obviously, cannabis falls under the domain of Pisces. So this could be a significant low with respect to the longer-term trend. It's been a really tough uh, ride in the cannabis space over the last couple of years. And uh, interestingly, like we've seen in crude oil, there's been supply side issues. There's There's been uh, an influx of supply in the space. Uh, and that's made it really hard for producers of the product to turn a solid profit. But this could be the uh, start of something new. The geocosmics certainly support this. So keep an eye on that over the next couple of weeks, and especially while Saturn is still in Pisces. Let's go ahead and take a look at GDX, the gold ETF, gold mining ETF. You know, uh, it's been said before, and we'll say it again, that uh, gold doesn't really like Jupiter aspects. And so between Jupiter going retrograde earlier this week and Sun trying Jupiter later this week, I'm uh, a little cautious right now on precious metals, especially after forming another lower high. We need to see a higher low form. Um, in order to start to turn the uh, technical prospects, but in the short term, uh, definitely vulnerable to for further downside. Let's take a look at the uh, interest rate on the 10-year treasury, uh, starting to move back higher again. Uh, not surprising. Uh, I talked about when we see aspects uh, with Venus and Jupiter, as of late, they've been very pertinent to interest rate sensitive markets. And we had the low on September 1st, the day before uh, Venus and Jupiter changed directions. So I'm going to keep an eye on this market going into that square aspect between Venus and Jupiter on the 17th. Uh, it could be trending uh, until that point. Let's take a look at USO, the crude oil ETF, uh, breaking out in alignment with our expectations. This fits the bill and what we've been talking about for subscribers in our reports on the weekly and monthly scale and 
uh, you know, coming out of this primary cycle low, we formed the intermediate term cycle low while Saturn was in Pisces, like we wanted to see. So if we're in new intermediate term cycles in uh, crude oil, we would expect the rally to continue into year end. This is very strong price action. Uh, and really until uh, Neptune and Jupiter change directions again at the end of the year, it could be a, a pretty uh, solid uptrend in this market. <clears throat> Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Uh, it's still, you know, in a defensive posturing. Now we still have Mercury retrograde here. So these sharp reversals we've seen every couple of days are indicative of that planet being retrograde. But I'm a little concerned seeing this consolidation near the lows of the recent move. That is bearish price action. So some caution is advised uh, here in the short term. Uh, similar story with Ethereum. I'll just take uh, a moment to look at that. It really comes down to the primary cycle. If, you know, these markets are in newer primary cycles, uh, then we still have a chance. If not, then look out below because especially Ethereum, we could be falling into a 15-month cycle low sooner rather than later. So those are actually all the markets that I wanted to look at uh, with you today. So thank you so much for tuning in to the weekly MMA market update. Just want to remind all our viewers that it is forecast season. So go ahead and, and visit www.mmacycles.com and uh, pick up your copy of the forecast 2023 book. I know Ray is working hard at that right now. And uh, us analysts are uh, about to start, not quite yet, but in, in about another month or two, going to start writing our uh, forecasts for various markets in 2024. So www.mmacycles.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you same time, same place next week.